Hey folks, we're going to be covering completing the square with complex numbers in this session. Let's get started. I guess with this um, particular session is that it's, it's a lot easier showing this with an example. So here's, here's a particular question here. We want to solve x squared plus 4x plus 29 equals 0 by completing the square. First off, we know we can't factorize this because uh, you know there are no numbers that will actually multiply to 29 and add to 4. Well, no real numbers anyway. And that's where we're going to use complex numbers. So the way we want to do this is we're going to write up everything as it is, and we're going to try and complete the square. So we got x squared plus 4x plus 29 equals 0. Just going to rearrange things just to make it a bit easier for me. I've got x squared plus 4x equals negative 29. Now, if you remember, for completing the square, you have to take the coefficient of x, divide it by 2, square it, and add it to both sides. So in this case, it's 4. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 squared is equal to 4. So I need to add 4 to both sides of the equations. Of the equation. So I've got x squared plus 4x equals negative 29, adding 4 to the left-hand side, and adding 4 to the right-hand side, just so the uh, equation is still the same. Now what I could do is I can see that x squared plus 4x plus 4 could be factorized as x plus 2 squared. And on the right-hand side, negative 29 plus 4 is equal to negative 25. Now, is where, now this is the part where it comes where we can change negative 25. We can alter it a bit. Because we know that x plus 2 squared is equal to 25i squared. Now, if you're unsure how I got 25i squared, just have a look in the red box here. We've got negative 25, which is the same thing as saying negative 1 times positive 25. Now, we know that negative 1 is equal to i squared. So, therefore, this is going to be 25i squared. Negative 25 is 25i squared. So, from this point onwards, what I could do is I could... I'm just going to write down everything as it is because what I could do is I could take the square root of both sides. Taking the square root of the left-hand side would equal x plus 2, and taking the square root of the right-hand side would equal 5i. Now, folks, the classic mistake people make with square root is the plus or minus. So you have to remember that 25i squared, when you take the square root of it, it could actually be plus or minus 5i. So... For our solutions, we're going to get x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 5i. All right, and we have just solved this equation. Once you get the roots, you can also work out what the factors are. So in other words, I'm going to show the same example in the next slide, but I want to, I want to look at how to factorize it. So here we go, same question, x squared plus 4x plus 29. I want to, I want to factorize this. Now we know this is not possible in with real numbers, but what we have found is we found the complex roots in the previous slide. So we know that x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 5i. Or in other words, x squared plus 4x plus 29 is equal to x. Now remember with roots you've always got to go x minus the root. So it's going to be x minus, and in my first root, I'm going to write my first root, which is negative 2 plus 5i, brackets, and in my second factor, I'm going to have x take away negative 2 minus 5i. There we go. Now, you can, of course, leave it at this point, or you can simplify it up further on. So, simplifying it further on, I'm going to get x plus 2 minus 5i, brackets, x plus 2 plus 5i. And there we go. It's been factorized with um, in a complex plane. Okay, guys, um, that's basically covering um, just solutions and factorizing just with um, square numbers, though. Um, okay, that's basically it. That's all for, from the session. Thanks for watching.